What's more, the passenger glass over here had a bluish tint to it. That will remind you of the old Maximas, you know, the older cars that had a bluish tint. Really pretty good about uh, reducing glare, all right? This is the passenger side. In the US it is. The driver's side, as you can see, looks normal and just a white, a clear lens. But check this out. It actually is a pretty cool rear view mirror or rather side mirror because they are automatically dimming mirrors. This here, the side mirror, as well as the interior rear view mirror, those are dimming side mirrors. So check this out. I'm going to go ahead and block the other side of this lens as well as give it light. I'll block the other end and put the light here. So watch it. I don't know if you can notice, but it is getting darker. It is getting dimmer. I'll remove the light source and you'll see what happens to the mirror once you clear up, okay? There you go. I'm going to do the same thing while focusing on this other mirror though, the outside mirror. So again, I'm about to block it right now. Put light to it. Watch it get dark. I'm gonna block it now. So this mirror does not have a sensor by itself. It uses that sensor in here to tell it whether to get dark or not. So that one is fully dark in here. The camera's changing, but the mirror itself is not. That's almost all black, and I'm gonna remove the, the blocking. Watch it clear up. Cool, right? I hope that's dramatic enough. It doesn't look very dramatic from here, but I hope you see it. Also, this comes from a different time, I should say this. Back in the day, you could get a global light on, whereby with this light switch over here, I could turn this on and all the lights in the car come on.